promised. This was an animal attack. Don't give me that. I know the game. You tear them up enough, they always suspect an animal attack. You said you had it under control. And I do. Please, Uncle Stefan. Mystic Falls is a different place now. It's been quiet for years. But there are people who still remember. And you being here... It's just gonna stir things up. It's not my intention. Then what is? Why did you come back after all this time? Why now? I don't have to explain myself. I know that you can't change what you are. But you don't belong here anymore. Where do I belong? I can't tell you what to do. But coming back here was a mistake. You wanna know, know that it doesn't hurt me. Wanna hear about the deal I'm making? And if I only could make a deal with God and get him to swap our places, be running up that road, be running up that hill, be running up that building. The Battle of Willow Creek took place right at the end of the war in our very own Mystic Falls. How many casualties resulted in this battle? Miss Bennett. Um, a lot. I'm not sure, but like a whole lot. Cute becomes dumb in an instant, Miss Bennett. Mr. Donovan, would you like to take this opportunity to overcome your embedded jock stereotype? It's okay, Mr. Tanner. I'm cool with it. <laughs> Elena? Surely you can enlighten us about one of the town's most significantly historical events? I'm sorry, I... I don't know. I was willing to be lenient last year for obvious reasons, Elena. But the personal excuses ended with summer break. There were 346 casualties, unless you're counting the local civilians. That's correct. Mr... Salvatore. Salvatore. Any relation to the original settlers here at Mystic Falls? Distant. Well, very good. Except, of course, there were no civilian casualties in this battle. Actually, there were uh, 27, sir. Confederate soldiers, they fired on a church, believing it to be housing weapons. And they were wrong. It's a night of great loss. The Founders Archives are uh, stored in Civil Hall if you'd like to brush up on your facts. Mr. Tanner. <laughs> 